We are continuing to bring you views of our stories from above using Sky Fox. And today we see crews planting wild rice in the bay, part of a restoration project near Duck Creek and the Cat Island chain. And the crews are expecting, they hope at least, to see results quickly. All right. As Fox 11's Eric Peterson reports, we could see growth in the water as early as next year. At the West Deerfield Road boat launch in Howard, Patrick Robinson unloads 20 bags of wild rice. There it is. The seeds inside are ripe for the planting. Yeah, it's an important wildlife food. Migrating waterfowl absolutely love it. Dozens of wildlife workers and volunteers loaded five small boats Wednesday morning. Today we're going to be seeding about 20 acres of uh, wild rice out in uh, the Duck Creek Delta area and in behind the uh, Cat Island chain. Biologists say rice used to grow wild in the lower bay. And the last records we have are probably about 70 years ago. And part of the efforts to restore vegetation out here is to restore habitat and wild rice. Robinson says two years ago, test plots showed promise. I remember one of my colleagues was out kayaking in the bay, checking our plots, and called me. I was on vacation with my family and said, you're not going to believe it. It's growing. <laughs> now the experiment has tripled in size. The boats creep along in about three feet of water. Crews simply scoop and toss the rice overboard. They've got some areas plotted out for us out there that are roughly the size so that we know we're putting 50 pounds down per acre and just hand seeded into the into the bottom of the bay. The rice is planted near the Cat Island Chain Causeway. Biologists say the two and a half mile barrier is an essential part of the plan. Without the island there, the high wave action and things like that would uh, deter the growth of the wild rice. The rice will slowly sink to the bottom. Scientists say the rest is up to nature. We're hopeful we'll see, see uh, wild rice going to seed next year out in the bay. In Howard, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. This initiative is part of a larger effort to restore the bay. The project is being paid for in part by grants, but it's also using money from local, state, and federal agencies.